This right here is a 4 inch bore vacuum cannon made to fire 3 inch PVC end caps. A vacuum cannon is nothing more than a hollow piece of PVC pipe and several burst discs on either end. These are just aluminum foil held on by a little bit of duct tape. So how on earth does this work to throw a projectile anywhere? Now with both ends of the pipe sealed with foil as you can see here, it's possible to remove the air from inside of the pipe using a vacuum pump. And I show how to build one in another video, or you can purchase one online as well. A vacuum cannon actually works because of atmospheric pressure, which is the amount of pressure that the miles of air that are above our heads are pressing down on us with because of gravity. Now we don't feel this air pressure pressing down on us because we're acclimated to it, meaning that we have the same amount of pressure on the inside of our bodies as the air pressure that's around us. This means that the two pressures balance out and we don't feel anything. If we remove the air pressure that is inside of this pipe that is currently holding it in balance with atmospheric pressure, what we end up with is extreme force of atmospheric pressure pressing in on the burst discs on both sides. If one of these discs were to rupture well under that pressure, air from outside of the pipe would rush in to fill the empty space with extreme speed. Now if in front of the pressure wave that would occur if one of these burst discs ruptured and the air started to fill this pipe, there was a projectile, such as this 3-inch PVC pipe cap, what would happen is the projectile would be pushed along with the incoming air and would accelerate to an extreme speed as well. Now, as atmospheric pressure is quickly moving in through the ruptured burst disc and pushing the projectile along with it, eventually the air pressure inside of the pipe reaches equilibrium with the air pressure on the outside and the pressure wave stops. Now what might happen is the projectile could stop right there with it because it's no longer being pressed forward. But because it has been accelerated so quickly with the pressure wave, the momentum that is inside of the projectile continues with it, bursting this secondary burst disc on the other end of the pipe and sending the projectile out into the world. Now to get a little more specific as to how I made this work. Um, the burst discs are just three layers of heavy duty aluminum foil which I pressed over the end of the pipe to form a bit of a cup then cut off the excess so it looked something like a pie tin and then uh, is held on by uh, clearly just duct tape to um, keep an airtight seal over the end of this pipe and the end needs to be sanded quite smooth so that it doesn't tear the uh, tear the aluminum foil which is rather fragile. Um, the fitting here is just a quarter inch to one eighth uh, threaded um, hose fitting and this is just vacuum hose coming off of the uh, the vacuum pump which I will show in another video. And this end of the pipe is clearly uh, the same as the back half except you only need uh, the air hose fitting on the one side because uh, you can suck the air out of the, the full length of pipe just from one location. So this end just has a another aluminum foil burst disc which obviously has already been blown off and it took a good chunk of the duct tape with it. Um, some of the dangers with this cannon is uh, either burst disc could go at any moment while depressurizing it so you never want to stand either in front or behind the cannon. Um, because if either burst disc were to fail, um, the projectile could fly out either end. So clearly do not stand in front or behind it. This right here is just the rubber mallet that I used to break the burst discs on the firing end of the pipe. So when the cannon is depressurized, I just give the rear disc a whack with the mallet and that's good to go. Here is the pressure gauge, which comes off of the uh, 
vacuum pump that I made. This just, uh, I'll, I'll show this in the vacuum pump video, but um, to give some details on the cannon, I usually fire it at 25 inches of mercury. It's labeled as INHG, and that's uh, just the standard reading that is used to measure atmospheric pressure. Um, 25 inches of mercury, um, I'm just giving a rough estimate, but that should be around I would probably negative 12 or 13 psi. That's pounds per square inch. So if you're uh, more comfortable with um, that unit of measurement as I am. And uh, so that's about it. So let's uh, fire it a couple more times. This is all I could find of that three inch end cap. I guess I'll be uh, headed back to the hardware store to pick up a few more. This cannon was fired using a vacuum pump that I show how to make in another video. So be sure to check that out by clicking the image of it here. You can also check out some of my past projects by clicking one of the other boxes. Thanks for watching.